My name is Nathaniel N. Atacador from grade 4, batch 1. Today, I am going to read you again a story. The New Cat The cats on Old MacDonald's farm like nothing better than dozing. Millie just loves to laze in the sun. And Lazy, as his name suggests, hardly opened his eyes. One day, Millie was snoozing on a bale of hay when she heard old MacDonald talking on the telephone through the open kitchen window. Half asleep, she heard him say, The new cat. Millie was feeling very sleepy. Yes, continued old MacDonald. I need it because the ones I have now are useless. Millie yawned and stretched, still drowsy and happy. Then she suddenly sat bolt upright. What? The cuts were useless? A new one was coming? Oh no! Millie dashed to where Lazy was fast asleep and eventually woke him up. He hurried, she hurriedly shouted what she had heard. What's the matter with us? Yawned Lazy in a hurt voice. I don't understand. You don't do anything, clocked Her Herinita the head who liked to put her beak into everybody's business. You just sleep all day. Millie and Lazy looked at each other. They knew there was only one thing to do. Ten seconds later, they were tearing around the farmyard, trying to look busy as possible. By the end of a week of dashing around all day, and meowing all night, the cats had created quite a steer in the farmyard. Look here, said Bruce the sheepdog. What's got, what has got into you, Bo? Millie and Lazy explained. Bruce tried not to smile. Well, you're doing the right thing, he barked. Impress old MacDonald like this and you'll be fine. But... I would stop Cutter walling at night, strolled off chuckling to himself. <laughs> As old MacDonald's right hand dog, he knew that the farmer was waiting for a new catalog to order his winter wellies from. But he didn't think he needed to tell Millie and Lazy about that. Not quiet yet anyway, 